there is a lot of curiosity particularly in a lot of youngsters to know about the inner consciousness, the inner mind, the supranatural energies and a lot more connected to spirituality. A lot of them also keep asking if there is a deep correlation between this concept and our Vedic wisdom. Today we have with us spiritual mentor, philosopher and a medical doctor himself Dr. Nagendra Sarvathas to share some light on these concepts. Sir, Namaste and welcome to the show. Namaste. A lot of people nowadays are willing and have a lot of inquisitiveness to understand health at a deeper level because now people are able to correlate the connection between the energies that exist within us which is a part of our consciousness and the physical reality which expresses itself in various forms of uh, complications or probably sometimes some mysterious challenges that we undergo on a daily basis. So, can we in this aspect understand how consciousness or inner consciousness or even spirituality has a major impact on our physical or mental health and how can we correlate these concepts with the Vedic wisdom that we all know a little bit about? I think this is the time where we need to have this integrated approach. This is what we are trying to do today is to have that integration of uh, both the, the inner knowledge and the outside what we are looking at. So, let me start with the Veda itself. Mm -hmm. So, the Veda, the meaning what we generally talk about is from the root word vid means a knowledge. Mm -hmm. So, that is not just the only meaning of vid. Vid also means to seek, okay. to find. Mm -hmm. So, what is exactly knowledge is what I am trying to find, what I need to seek. Mm -hmm. To have a knowledge, I should know what I want first of all. So, Veda starts with, if even if you want to do something with something to know about the Veda, then I should be have the clarity about mm -hmm. why do I need that? Mm -hmm. Is it for just for curiosity mm -hmm. or it is my something for my development okay. or in my profession mm -hmm. or to have a, just a peace of mind? Okay. The starting point should be that or even it may be a, a health issue also. Yes. So, based on this, the approach should start. Mm -hmm. But whatever the approach may be, the Vedas are particularly very clear that this knowledge what we are talking about is about the supreme knowledge that is called as Tad Ekam. Mm -hmm. Ekam is Tad is that, Ekam is one. Okay. So, there is no dispute among any of the sects or the faiths. I do not want to call anything as a religion. Okay. Uh, for the convenience, we can take it as any faith. Okay. So, all our faith mm. irrespective of whatever it is. There is no dispute that there is one supreme being who, who is actually uh, under his law or under his supervision it is going on. Okay. We may call it anything, you may have to name it or not, that is left to each other, okay. each individual. So, whereas what we are looking at is whatever that is happening here mm. in the cosmos, mm. that is what we call it as a universe. Okay. Universe having a particular law is called as a cosmos, nothing very uh, different okay. from that. Okay. This is governed by somebody or some great power. So, nobody disputes that. Okay. Whether we want to name it or not, that is left to individual. Okay. So, when we understand that there is a universal consciousness where all the things are happening and a human where there is an individual consciousness. Right. So, this we call it as microcosm and that as a macrocosm. Okay. So, whatever that is happening outside, the same thing is reflected inside. Mm -hmm. So, this has been the core of Veda Rishis. Hmm. Today, whom we call it as a scientist are nothing but the rishis. The Vedic rishis are nothing but the scientists hmm. who were actually going into the depth of this secrecy, hmm. what it is, what drives me in. So, if you have that as a platform, from there we can take it. Okay. So, if not, Veda becomes something like a, a faith for a community or something or for a smaller purpose. Okay. When we understand this as a whole, hmm. then from there we need to see which are the different perspectives we need to look at. Okay. So, all the Acharyas and the great Rishis or even many of the scholars, so what they try to explain in terms of their own understanding is the different perspectives of the Veda. Right. So, it is not about the completeness of the Veda, they are giving their observations, their mm. understanding. Okay. Now, coming back to that word of knowledge and what is this knowledge? Mm. This knowledge is to be very precise, it is experiential knowledge. Mm. When the Veda Rishis, when they were able to, the, now we are talking about the evolution as such. So, this is when the consciousness is evolving, mm -hmm. we know that there is a matter and then there is the plant life where the life came first out of the matter right. and then there is animal kingdom. And then within the animal kingdom, there have been further, you can call it as uh, amphibians or only the only with the aquatic life and then the amphibians and then the reptiles and then 
further going on and then we had the mammals right those feeds the younger ones right. the mammals evolved into the man mm -hmm. so now today we are in that state where we have very clear concrete evidence of this evolution and this is not just a physical right there is a consciousness that's been consciousness is nothing is also the knowledge or the energy behind that mm -hmm. so now we are looking at the man is evolving further up higher Okay. So this, what we are today, is the consciousness, and there is something below that that's a subconscious, mm -hmm. and then there is something above that is superconscious. So now, from the medical terminology, we can understand this consciousness as somebody is conscious and somebody is unconscious, right. or we call it as a coma. So this is unconscious for the sake of uh, understanding, whereas an unconscious person is not dead. Yeah. True. We know that. Yes. In fact, we also appreciate many times that they communicate, of course, not physically. Right. We can appreciate that. That is for the understanding purpose of the consciousness. Mm -hmm. So, when the Vedic Rishis, when they were in the deep state, that right. is getting into that self, where my individual consciousness merges with that cosmic consciousness. Okay. This is a state they are in mm -hmm. and from there they can directly communicate. You don't need words there. So, this consciousness in this phase, mm -hmm. they will have some images or some sound images are not again the physical images, they will have some flashes mm. and this will be manifested outside in the terms of some words as a sound okay. that we call it as mantra. So, when we are trying to understand mantra, this origin is from the higher consciousness where there is an experience of this, okay. they experience this mantra, it is not they are chanting mantra. So, mm -hmm. when we are trying to chant a mantra, again we need to experience that. So, when such a big phenomena is uh, being experienced by the rishis, when they are putting down those mantras or releasing them out for us to be uh, experiencing that state. So, is it possible that by chanting these mantras, we can also get at least a glimpse of what they have experienced or is it that there is a specific uh, benefit out of chanting those mantras which may not be as deep as what they have experienced or is both possible if we dive in deep into experiencing this? One is, is it possible? Other is, it is it required? Both. This is the path we need to be. Mm -hmm. It is not just with the mantra. Okay. Even a simple talk, a speech mm -hmm. or a song, mm -hmm. unless we get connected with that, we will not be able to get, to get the full ananda of it. Right. Even when we are having this discussion, yes. unless we both are in the same plane, yes. it does not make any sense. The same thing in any of the even a casual talk mm -hmm. or even when there is a concert. Yeah. So, the, those people who are connecting themselves with the singer, mm -hmm. they will get that ananda. Yeah. Otherwise, it does not mean others are deprived of it. Yes. They may not get yes. of that. This we can easily sense in case of mantra because mantra by itself, so we define that mantra in terms of there is a rishi from whom this manifested. Yes. And then the Devata to whom this was, again we'll, I think we will also get a question about that, who is this Deva or Devata or the God or the Deity, this is like addressing to that, Rishi okay. is like a from whom, address to whom that is Deva, mm -hmm. but the channel through which the mantra we got is the rhythm that is called as Chantas, okay. Chandas or the meter. So, now when we are actually hearing a mantra or chanting a mantra, there is a specific vibration, there is a rhythm, mm -hmm. this is the Chandas. The whole Veda stands on this Chandas. So, now when I am chanting this, even whether I want it or no, I know it or not, okay. I hear the Veda Mantra, right. immediately I feel something different. True. Some people feel calmness, some yes. feel it is a nice vibration. Yes. At the end of the day, there is some change. Hmm. Now, it is up to me, how do I want to make it? What is the difference between any other there is just to differentiate it from a human composition, we call it as a Stotra hmm. or Stuti. That is. I am praying, that is out of the human mind, right. that is a human composition. Right. There the component of the individual person's intellect also will be included. Right. That in okay. individual component is called as a impurity, not in the sense of in the impurity as contamination. Yes. It is I am trying to make it in terms of my own experience. Whereas the difference in the mantra is right. there is no human involvement at all. Okay. I am just a channel, just like there is a radio frequency and there is an instrument and it, yes. it just comes out. So, now there will be nothing in between. If the instrument is defective, then it is a different thing. Right. So, so, that is the whole purpose of how we can get connected right. and then when we chant a mantra or listen to the mantra and of course, there is one more component called a sankalpa. That is when I have that particular clarity in what do I want. Right. Like we do to in a temple, when you yes. go there, sankalpa of yeah, having yeah, good health, what, what, yeah. about that. If you have that, you can energize to the, towards that, focus oh, towards that. Okay. Hmm. But 
where the rishis have further gone one more step hmm. what do you do to with the good health right what do you do with your all the wealth this is their purpose so okay. your health and wealth was not the end right in fact that was a means through which you can get something yes. where so the possibilities are unlimited definitely because yes. every human or any creation is divinely they are divine and yes. they have today they are in the seed form that is potentially divine there is in the potential now we have to make it into kinetic yeah. that's a pure science yes. so matter is in the potential form or the inert form mm -hmm. now this one of the ways it's not the only way one of the ways is to get into the veda mantras mm -hmm. veda is not confined to the mantra mm -hmm. but one of the ways is through the mantra mm -hmm. we can channelize that and then mm -hmm. it's easiest way to go that's my personal experience is the easiest way to experience that and then utilize in my professional life thank you so much doctor dear viewers in our upcoming episodes let's try to understand the deeper correlation between spirituality and well being thank you so much for watching if you like this episode kindly share it with your loved ones and do comment in the comment box about your views about the vedic wisdom and how we can encompass these spiritual principles into making our life more beautiful if you have any basic questions regarding veda or vedic wisdom please do let us know we'll meet you again with another episode to understand other beautiful insights about Veda and Vedic wisdom thank you so much for watching namaste